All right. All right, so one of the next steps is we gotta get the floor trusses up on top of the walls. And I don't wanna be bowling these things around and I know Angela doesn't want to, so we're gonna build a boom extension for the skin loader so we can pick up one at a time and set them in place. Um, once they're on top of the wall, we can shimmy them down and slide them down, that's fine. I found a boom extension, but the lady won't email me back or message me back, so. I found a bunch of scrap that I had and then I just went and bought a pipe this morning and we're just gonna make our own. So let's do this. So we got quarter inch plate steel that I had sitting in back, some quarter inch strapping and then eight inch C-channel. And so then I went and bought the pipe. Uh, it's a nine foot pipe. And I have some, I think it's a four and a half inch and I got some four inch. So it should just slide inside and out. So it'll be a telescoping, telescopic boom. Um, so it should just get enough height. So we're just gonna cut it out and tack everything together, make sure it's good, weld it up. I just want to get the trusses up on the house and go from there. All right. not perfect but it'll work all right so i just lay this out uh just basic stuff i had this i think it's a seven and a half inch part from something that i picked up and it was on the scrap pile so i put that down marked it but then i use that as a, a template from where i run the the plasma cutter around to keep it somewhat straight so it doesn't burn all the way through this is the cheapest plasma cutter that you can buy on Amazon and it actually does work really well. It's a, a flame weld. We can link that in the description down below. Um, with the plasma cutter and all the consumables, it was like 220 bucks with free shipping. So it was like a super good price and I've cut a lot of stuff with it. You got to cut a little bit slower, but it gets the job done. So yeah, I would recommend this highly. Um, and if it does break, then I already got my money's worth out of it and I don't care, but it's been working great so far still. So uh, I'm going to get this knocked out and then I'm gonna tape the grinder, clean up the cuts a little bit and see if we can't start tacking some stuff together. So you have to grind that off so it'll weld better? Yeah, so the weld will stick. I'm not trying to make it perfect, but I want to make it really nice.
you're not called. Well, you're working. You're working hard. <laughs> Is this making any wind block for you?
we could put it on the forks, right? Right now? So I welded the nine foot pipe onto our apparatus over there. And after talking to my dad, just to give this thing some extra strength as it's coming off, uh, we decided once the forks go on, welded a clevis on here so that we could wrap a chain from the forks through the clevis and to the back to the other side of the fork. So that'll give it <clears throat> a lot more strength uh, when it's out here. Because then we got this other piece of pipe right here. I think that's a, another nine footer. And then I just welded a clevis on there with a hook, and then that'll slide in here. That pipe will slide into this one. And then I just welded a nut, drilled a, or burned a hole through with the plasma cutter, welded a nut, and then, so this bolt will cinch it down so whatever length we want, it'll stay right where it needs to be when you tighten that bolt down. Um, so I'm just gonna sand it right quick and clean it up, throw some paint on it so it doesn't rust as much and start to use it. Cause we're not gonna be setting the trusses today. We're gonna probably do the walls. So this will only take about an hour just to throw some paint on it and it'll be dry by the end of the day. So we'll be good to go. Okay. 